Depends on. Wow. Hi, you guys. So, like a lot of people, I've been trying to reduce my use of plastics in my life, which isn't always an easy thing to do. Um, it seems like everything is wrapped in plastic these days. So I've been trying to take a closer look at some of the products that I'm buying on a regular basis and like which ones I can swap out for plastic free alternatives. So this one that I'm going to talk about today is something that I really thought would be last on my list of swaps that I would be willing to make um, and that is shampoo. Um, I'm really specific about what I want in a shampoo. I like my hair to feel like squeaky clean. I have an active job, I'm a pet sitter and dog walker, and whether I'm like out walking dogs or uh, working out or whatever, if my hair isn't clean, I'm very aware of it. Like I don't like it at all. Um, so that's one thing on my list. Another thing, obviously this is not my natural hair color. Surprise, if you didn't know, I'm just gonna fill you in. Wasn't born like this. So in addition to being like super clean, I want something that's not gonna strip my hair color and sometimes those two things like don't exist in the same shampoo or like they say they do but they don't really do exactly what I want them to do. And then uh, another high priority for me is it has to be budget friendly. Um, I'm not the type of person that's willing to spend $40 on a bottle of shampoo, like I just won't. So it has to be budget friendly and then obviously it has to be vegan and cruelty free. Um, so in my exploration with shampoo bars, I decided to start with Lush. I pretty much love every product that I've ever tried from Lush except for one, <laughs> literally one, and I think that's a personal preference, not that there's something wrong with the product, but everything else has been awesome and I trusted that Lush wouldn't put out a shampoo bar that sucked, right? Um, so because I'm brand new to this and I don't know really what I'm looking for in a shampoo bar and also because I wanted to review these products for you guys, I decided to pick up two different ones. Uh, one is called Godiva and it looks like this. I see other YouTubers do this hand thing. It seems like, seems like the way to go. So Godiva, it says it has nut oils and shea butter and jasmine and so you can definitely smell the jasmine. It has a nice floral scent and I'm kind of sensitive to floral, like I either love it or hate it and I really like this one. Like the fragrance is strong enough but not overpowering and it doesn't make me sneeze. Like some floral scented things, it's like I'm in a pollen field and I can't. <laughs> can't deal but this one has not affected my allergies at all so my first impression of this one as you can see it's got all these little bits in it um it's got small bits it's got big bits it's got like these little chunks that look like fruit but it's not so my first impression they told me at lush that this was um one of their top sellers like everybody's favorite um, they actually said that about the other one too, so that's one reason I got both of these. And so my first impression though was that I was not going to like this one. Um, I just imagined it falling apart in the shower and it seemed like it was going to be messy. And yeah, I didn't, didn't have high hopes for this bar. I was pretty confident that the other one was going to be my favorite and uh, spoiler alert, I was surprised. Okay, so this one is Jason and the Argan Oil. And as you might have guessed, it has argan oil. It says it's also rose jam scented. I don't really know what rose jam is, but I think this smells like it. It, it definitely smells like rose. But it almost has like a berry like undertone. It's not like super potent berry scented. It might not be berry, but there's like something else there. It's like rose and something else. It smells really nice though. And as far as the like floral allergy issue, <laughs> this one does make me feel like I'm gonna sneeze a little bit. Um, it's not bad enough that I wouldn't buy it. This is my second bar, so obviously I bought another one, but if you're very sensitive, you might, if you have allergies, you might wanna go smell all the Lush products and see which ones agree with you. 
And this is the one that I for sure thought would be my favorite. Like it's more... What is the word I'm looking for? Com not compact, but it's just more solid. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. It does have the little tiny bits in it, but it just doesn't seem like it would fall apart like the other one. What I thought about shampoo bars, I didn't think my hair was going to get as clean as I wanted it to. Um, I didn't think it was going to be easy to use. I thought it would be awkward. Um, I didn't picture it like lathering like regular shampoo. Um, I just didn't think I was going to enjoy it, but this one i would say it's equally as good as the shampoo i was using before um it gets my hair clean it's not amazing like it's not like best hair day ever like i'm not complaining about it but i'm not like my mind isn't blown either like i said i bought it again and i'm gonna explain why in a second but uh but yeah it's good like i don't hopefully i'm not coming off as like being negative about it i would recommend it like i think it's worth trying um i'm gonna continue using it this is what i used actually did i wash my hair today i think i washed my hair today no yesterday this is what i used yesterday when i washed my hair and um it tends to make it a little more straight shiny um not as wavy my hair tends to be kind of wavy but when I use this, it makes it a little more straight, so you might like that if that's something you're looking for. I'm going to move on to the review of the other one, and then I will tell you the comparison. I feel like that will make more sense. Okay, so, Godiva. When I went back to Lush to buy these two bars again, um, I literally told them, Godiva is the best shampoo I've ever used in my life, except it makes my color fade fast. And I was like, do you have anything that does exactly what this does, but will help my color stay longer? And they said no, which is kind of a bummer. But I went ahead and bought both of these again. And my game plan is that I'll probably use the Jason more often. And then I'll use this one like once a week. And I'm going to tell you all the things that I love about it. It makes my hair feel so clean but also really soft and like conditioned. This is actually supposed to be a two-in-one, like it has um, shampoo and conditioner in it, but I use an extra conditioner. I've actually been using a Lush conditioner bar, which I'll most likely review in another video. Um, and then I also use the leave-in conditioner r and I don't use that every single day, but I do use it most days. So also when I use this, my hair tends to be bigger and wavier and just fluffier and soft and like, nice like literally the first time I used this shampoo like I thought to myself like this is the best hair day I've had in a long time and I'm not someone who does a lot of like styling or anything to my hair I pretty much just shampoo condition let it air dry and this is what happens um if there's extra curl it's usually because I put it up in a bun and took it down like I'm not putting a lot of work into my hair um but this without any styling or anything like this got my hair to look exactly how I would want it to look like every day if I could but I don't know how to do my hair so I just have to rely on luck <laughs> so but the other thing that happened the first time I used the shampoo and it was really discouraging like as soon as I started washing like I just saw so much color like go down the drain and I like pictured myself coming out of the shower like blonde I didn't know I didn't know what was gonna happen but the weird thing was that day I also my color looked brighter even though so much like stripped out like once my hair was dry um, my color looked brighter than it had like all week and I think the reason is this gets off a lot of like other residue and like build up and junk like that. So even though maybe I lost some pigment, like the pigment that was there looked brighter, if that makes sense. Another thing I noticed, probably after like the second or third time I used this, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this because I feel like it might sound kind of gross, but like... <laughs> Like on my scalp, there was like stuff coming off. It wasn't like flaky. And what definitely wasn't anything like visible, but and the weird thing is it like it felt like a good thing like while it was happening and I kind of think it was some kind of residue or build up or whatever that my old shampoo wasn't getting off and this kind of like washed whatever 
stuff was on my scalp because yeah that only lasted for maybe a couple of days and then after that it was good and my scalp actually felt really like clean and healthy like I don't really usually think about how my scalp feels like usually it's fine like I don't have any scalp problems but like after this it felt really good um, also as for the falling apart issue when I was shopping and like at Lush asking them for like recommendations um, I let them know that this was one of the ones I was thinking about but I was concerned that it might fall apart and she kind of told me that like it does like loosen up a little bit but when it's like hot and in the shower water like you can kind of smush like smush it back together if that makes sense and that ended up being true like it really like falling apart really wasn't an issue um because like all these in little like individual pieces that look like sprinkles like they kind of melt and like meld together so yeah it's not like they're just constantly crumbling and falling off like this one on the other hand did a weird thing um and maybe it's my fault like i put it in the little tin that i bought from lush and i might have let water get in there um but it like like I used it the first couple of times and then I came back and like the bottom layer was like jelly, <laughs> like, like strawberry jelly. It, it said it was rose jam. Maybe that was the jam. I don't know. <laughs> That's really what it, it looks like jelly. And then the top part was pretty much the same, like how it looks now. And so when I first saw that it was like that, I got kind of nervous. Like I thought maybe it was ruined um, and it wasn't, but the weird thing is like this one actually held up better and I continue to use it for almost the entire time I had it just like as you know like this <laughs> like as a whole bar and this one though like I can't really because of the jelly issue like I can't pick it up all like all in one piece so it's sitting in the tin and I kind of like break off little pieces and like use little pieces at a time and if there's some left I just put that on the tin and like save it for next time but yeah the issue I was worried about with lathering um wasn't really an issue at all these both actually lather pretty good this one a little bit more but I mean I wasn't disappointed with the other one either you can kind of lather it in your hands and then use that to wash your hair or you can just kind of rub it directly on your head like a bar of soap which I thought that was going to be weird but I ended up washing my hair that way most of the time rather than putting it in my hands another problem that I kind of thought I would have is like you know when you're using a shampoo that's like not that good and it gets parts of your hair clean but maybe some parts it like doesn't <laughs> like but yeah that really wasn't an issue either like because it lathers really well it's easy to kind of get it all over your head and like wash all of the parts that need to be washed um so I think that's like kind of covers my personal review I just looked on lush.com to kind of tell you the prices and like the ratings and stuff like that this one is $12.95 and it has an 88% rating of people who would recommend it this one is $11.95 and it has an 81% recommendation rating so i if you ask me would actually recommend both um try it out and maybe you strongly prefer one over the other um like i said this one is amazing i love it love it but i need to keep my color fresh so my plan is that i'll use this one and then when I feel like I need a little bit of extra like boost or I just really want to have a really good hair day that day, I will use this one um, until Lush comes out with a product that is this, everything this except doesn't strip my hair. Then I will buy that and I will be very happy. But until then, um, yeah, I'll be using both of these. Actually, and when last time I went to Lush and I told them that I want this, but something that will preserve my color better, they said they don't have anything like that, but they agreed with my uh, plan to go back and forth. Last thought, and I can't remember if I said this already, but it's worth saying again, if you want to buy Lush products and you are lucky enough to have a store near you, I definitely recommend um, going in and just telling them like what specifically you're looking for. Like whether it's hair care or skincare or whatever, they're really good about um, 
helping you choose the right product for you and if it's like skincare or like body care or anything like that they'll like do a demonstration of the product that they're recommending so you can like actually try it out before you buy it and sometimes they'll even give you like a little pot with like samples in it I don't think they actually do that for the shampoo bars but a lot of the other products they do all right guys I think that's it for this review hopefully you found it helpful let me know if you have any other questions that I haven't answered and I will do my best to answer them. And I'll definitely be making some more reviews coming up. Like I said, I am trying to reduce my plastic and I also have the conditioner bars. I have the deodorant bars. What else do I have? Oh, I got some uh, moisturizer bars, like face moisturizer in a bar. Didn't even know that was a thing, but I have it now and uh, I'm gonna be trying it out. So yeah, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, uh, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video and goodbye.